I'm Adil Kumar. We are trying to explore how to find image of a point when it is reflected across a line and this line is not a vertical or a horizontal line. The question here is, determine the coordinates of the image of for a point P 2 comma 1 which is reflected in the mirror placed along straight line y equals to x plus 1. So let's try to understand the situation. So we'll just sketch this situation first. That's the coordinate plane. And we have y equals to x plus 1. That means slope is 1 and the y-intercept is 1. Therefore, we could draw a line. Let me use another ink, kind of like this. So we have a line which goes like this. Right. So this line has a y-intercept of 1. So we'll say this is y-intercept of 1. Since the slope is 1, this is minus 1, the x-intercept. So that's the given line. Now, we need to determine coordinates of image for a point P, which is 2, comma 1. So 2, comma 1 will be... So let us say this is, this is 1. And then uh, 2, comma 1, this is like minus 1 this is uh, plus 1 and then let's say this is 2 okay now 2 comma 1 will be somewhere here right so that is the point P for us which is 2 comma 1 we need to find image of this point right so image of this point when reflected along this line so if you reflect it then what we have to do is we have to understand that the line has to be perpendicular to this line and the distance of these two should be same right so images are formed as far behind as in front so that is the property which we are going to use now since this is a rough sketch uh, we are not getting the value you know don't try to read the value from the given graph we'll try to calculate okay now so the steps involved here are first find equation of a line which is perpendicular to given line so that is the first step so equation of perpendicular line so this is the first step for us let me write down step number one so let's find that so we have equation of line as this line let me call this equation as l1 is the first line and the second line is this one, which I'm going to draw. Let me call this as L2. So we say line 2 is perpendicular. Is perpendicular to line 1. That simply means that the slope will be negative reciprocal. Slope here is 1, so this slope should be minus 1. So therefore, the equation of line should be y equals to minus x plus b. Since this line passes through the point P, which is 2, 1, we can substitute and find B. X value is 2, Y is 1. So 1 equals to minus 2 plus B, or bringing it here, 3 equals to B. So therefore, the equation is Y equals to minus X plus 3, right? So that is the equation of the second line. So this is the second line, and that is our first line. So we have found the equation of the line. Now we need to find point of intersection. So first step we have done. Now we need to find point of intersection. So solve these two equations simultaneously to find point of intersection. So y equals to x plus 1, y equals to minus x plus 3. That is easy. We will just add these two lines. So when you add these two equations, you get 2y equals to x minus x is 0, 1 plus 3 is 4, and so we get y equals to 4 over 2, which is 2. Once I know y is 2, I can substitute the value and find x, right? We can use any equation. So let me use equation 2. So from here, we know what is x equals to. x is equals to bringing x here minus y plus 3. Is that okay? So y is 2, so it is minus 2 plus 3, which is 1, right? So we get the coordinates of the point of intersection, and that seems to be 
1 and 2. So that seems to be 1 and 2. So let me say this is the point and let me just correct my drawing a bit. So it becomes more reasonable. I knew that was not very right. So let me just join this. Okay, fine. That gives me the point and I'm calling this point as Q. So we're calling this point as Q. So we found the point of intersection and that is Q for us. X is 1, Y is 2. Point of intersection. Now what? So third step here is you found PQ, you need to find its image, right? So let's say this is P dash. Since image is as far behind, P dash P should have a midpoint as Q. So Q is midpoint. Q is midpoint. find image how will you find image p dash well you know the formula for midpoint we'll use that so let's say p dash is some point x and y now i'll show you this is very interesting we have point p dash whose coordinates we need to find we have midpoint q whose coordinates are one and two and we have a point P whose coordinates are 2 and 1. Now, x plus 2 divided by 2 should be x coordinate of Q, right? So, so we have x plus 2 divided by 2. The midpoint point is x value 1. Similarly, y plus 1 divided by 2, average of these two should be 2. So that helps us to find x and y values. Do you see that part? Now let us solve it. Cross multiply. We get x plus 2 equals to 2. x equals to uh, 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0. In this case y plus 1 equals to 2 times 2 which is 4. y equals to 4 minus 1 which is 3. So, so we get the image point p dash as 0, 3. You get an idea. So this point here is actually the y-intercept of the second line. 0, 3 and that is our answer right so the answer is image p dash is 0, 3 so these are the steps involved to solve such a question so this one is with very simple calculations I've taken straight values and given you a simple example so that you understand the concept concept is the find equation of a line which is perpendicular to given line and which passes through the given point. Then you find point of intersection which forms the midpoint. Using the midpoint you can find the image point as shown here. Now in the next example we'll take slightly more complicated calculations but the steps involved are same. I request you to pause the video. Do that question yourself as a practice question. You'll gain a lot of confidence. I'm Anil Kumar. Share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best for your exams.